Good morning, everyone. My name is Danielle McNichol, and I'm General Counsel and Director for the Center of Leadership at Newman University. We're so pleased to have you here today uh, to take some time for yourself, for healing, for calm, and for some positive breathing for everyone. For today's event, um, we are uh, just a few quick housekeeping options. We are going to be removing everyone from video. Um, we are recording this live at this time, um, but you will also have the opportunity to uh, check this out again at www.nucenterforleadership.com, and this will be available for you to continue to practice as you go. Um, a quick reminder on the uh, screen above, there's a chat reference. If you have a question, we will be happy to answer your question. Probably not while we're doing the practices. We want people to focus on their breathing and their posture at this time, uh, but we will be happy to post in the future um, all answers to any questions uh, that you might have. Uh, we are so pleased to have Julie Karamanico, um, a licensed yoga therapist, as well as a licensed professional counselor in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, focusing with children all the way up through adults in private practice. So we are very pleased to have her here today, and hopefully everyone can uh, take some time. We can all be together, even if, if it's in our own homes, uh, breathe and be well. Julie, thank you so much. Thanks so much, Danielle. All right, guys. Um, so we're going to be doing, I'm really excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Um, and I'm really excited to be able to teach you some yoga for stress relief today so that I um, can, we can all wind down and experience a little bit of peace and calm. Um, so as you may know, yoga is an eight-limbed practice, so it's, it's got a wide breadth of um, practices that um, are geared towards health and wellness. Uh, but for today's purposes, for stress release, we're going to be focusing on two main, uh, two of the limbs that affect us most in our, um, our stress response. So, um, asana, which is our physical postures that Danielle mentioned, and pranayama, which is the breathing that goes along with it. Um, so when we're feeling stressed out, um, our nervous system kicks in and that fight or flight response that you might have heard of um, starts to activate. So you might notice that you sweat a little more, the heart's beating a little faster, um, maybe you're having a hard time breathing or breathing really like, shallowly. Um, and what we need to sort of come back into balance is for our paras, um, parasympathetic nervous system to kick in. So that's our like rest and digest, okay? And that's why you hear everybody saying, take a deep breath, right? Because that's what activates that restful, uh, peaceful feeling that regulates our nervous system. Um, so when we're using yoga for stress release, um, uh, the asana or yoga postures often will mimic our stress response. So you're sweating, your heart starts beating faster, um, you're maybe having a hard time breathing, right? And what differentiates yoga from other workouts is that we're, well, a lot of things, <laughs> but um, mostly that we're focusing on our breath while we're in our yoga postures, okay? So as you're moving through the practice today, um, we're gonna we're gonna practice the breathing in the beginning, but what you, I want you to try and cultivate is even what we call even breath. Okay, so like breathing in for a count of five, and then breathing out for a count of five. Okay, and we're gonna start it together. Um, if you can't quite get to five, that's okay. Maybe count a little faster, <laughs> or you can start at like four. Um, start at your own pace, but you want to just try and cultivate that even breathing. Okay. And we'll start that together. Um, but do, also, like metaphorically speaking, stress is often related to a perceived ideal that we have, right? So there's something that we want to attain that we're not quite getting to. And there's a lot of perceived, there's a lot of things right now that we, we're sort of having to manage our expectations, right? And everything's a little different. So it's causing us a lot of stress. We're feeling that. Um, so... I want to challenge you today to let go of your physical expectations of what you're going to do in this practice. Let go of that ideal that you have in your mind. And instead of thinking about like, um, oh, how's, how does my body look in this pose? Like, can I do this pose perfectly? 
let that go and just like the question is how am I breathing okay so I'll, I'll cue you to come back to the breath and to focus on that as much as possible um all right and um if you want to put on any music uh, there's a yoga like ambient playlist on Spotify just to just to let you know I'm not going to play it here for audio reasons, but um, But I'll leave you a second to do that and then we'll get started. So everybody find a spot on your mat And I hear there's some kids practicing with us today, too. I'm going to try and add Some uh, kids kids poses along the way. All right, so we're going to start on the mats I'm moving back to my mat <laughs> So we're going to start by taking those deep breaths. And when you start breathing, I want you to just put your hand on your belly. You can even put both hands on your belly if you'd like. And I want you to try and cultivate some what we call low and slow breathing, okay? So you're just slowly breathing in. Allow it to come into the belly, let the belly expand, and then let it out through your mouth. Good. Breathing in through the nose. And let it out through the mouth. Good. Breathing in through the nose. Let it out through the mouth. Good. And from here, you can start to close your eyes. And we're just going to begin to cultivate that deep and slow breathing. So you can start breathing in for a count of five, for one, two, three, four, five, and exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Good, breathing in. And exhale. Okay, so just by that little practice, you may start to know where your breath is. So you can start breathing in at your own pace. You can breathe into four or three, but you just want to be working on cultivating that even, deep, and slow breathing. Continuing on your own for a few moments. Very good. And then you can move the hands into the lap. Start to stack your shoulders over your hips. Maybe reach the crown of the head a little bit taller. Continuing to breathe deeply. Noticing if any thoughts come into your head. They inevitably will, because your brain is a thought producing organ. Um, but when they do, just acknowledge them without any judgment and return your attention back to the breath. Taking a quick scan of the body from head to toe, just noticing how your body feels this morning. Noticing any areas of tension. Tension tends to gather like behind the jaw, in the neck and shoulders, maybe in the hips too. So if you notice anything in those areas, just consciously bring your attention to those and releasing, relaxing those muscles. Beautiful. And then all together, we're going to take our shoulders forward and up on our inhale. So inhaling up, take the shoulders all the way up towards the ears. And then exhale, side, take the shoulders down the back. Good. Inhale forward and up, squeezing. And 
exhale, sigh. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Taking the hands to the heart. Taking a moment to set an intention for your class this morning. So whatever it is that brought you to your mat, maybe it's peace or balance, set the intention here. And we'll seal our intention and begin the practice of the sound one single ohm. So you can feel free to join me, or you can always just listen. Oh. Bowing your head down towards your heart, releasing the hands down, and softly with your eyes open. And we're going to meet in child's pose. All right, so child's pose, you for child's pose, you bring your knees down to the mat, you cross or you bring your toes together to touch, and then sink your hips down. Okay, reach your hands forward and let the head just fall down onto the mat. So really feel your connection to the ground and to your mat here. Allow yourself to start to get fully present. And we're starting that deep and slow breathing into the belly again. So breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the nose. And to start that yoga breathing, you want to feel like you're kind of closing off the throat a little bit, so you make like kind of an ocean wave sound in your breath. So we'll take three more here. Two. And one, good. Our inhale is going to take us up into a tabletop position. Okay, so look to your hands. You want your wrists right underneath your shoulders, and you want the knees directly underneath the hips. Our inhale is going to drop the belly. We're moving into cow pose. Roll the shoulders down the back, gazing up. And then on our exhale, cat pose. So we're rounding the spine, pushing the ground away. Very good. Practice moving with the breath. So inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, rounding. Slow, even breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Last two rounds. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Good, inhale, come to a neutral spine, tabletop position, flat back. From here, we're gonna take an inhale, and on our exhale, we're gonna lower the chest down in between the hands for each chest chin, okay? So your butt's lifted in the air, shoulder pulled down the back, your skin goes upward, you're gonna slide forward, onto your belly for a baby cobra, okay? So the head and chest are lifted, roll the shoulders down the back, tuck the elbows in towards the body, and then you're pressing the hands down into the mat, toss the feet press down as well. The gaze is down the tip of your nose for five breaths. Remember that deep and slow breathing. So you might notice your heart is starting to beat a little faster already, so starting to breathe deeply. Three, two, and one. Good. And then with the head and chest are going to start to lower down. Press into the hands and we'll lift back up into your tabletop. And then we're going to come into our first downward facing dog. So tuck the toes, lift the hips, keep the knees really bent for a while. Um, keep them really bent. And we're going to start to Pedal our heels, okay? So see if you can start to link that breath with the movement. So the inhale lifts the heel up, exhale lifts it down. Really following your breath and your pace. And that low and slow breathing going. 
One, my hamstrings wake up. Very, very good. Okay. And now we're all going to move to bend knees together. So really bend knees in our down dog. Plug those shoulders in towards the body. Draw the ribs in as well. Pull the belly to spine, really strong belly here. And then we're going to lift the hips up really high. Come up high on the tiptoes. All right. And then just gently start to lower the heels down towards the mat. Okay. Our goal is not to reach the mat. Our goal is to stretch our hamstrings. Okay, so it's early in the morning for me. My uh, my heels aren't getting down quite yet, so I'm just focusing on breathing and allowing my hamstrings to stretch. Three more deep breaths here. Two and one. Good. On our inhale, we're going to start to ripple forward. So belly to spine. We're going to come into a high plank position, okay? So nice and strong. Your quads are strong. Belly is in. Shoulders are plugged in here. Four more deep breaths. Three, two, and one. Good. Lift the hips back up for downward facing dog. Okay. So we're going to bend the knees. Look forward. Step to the top of the mat, so step towards your hands, and then we're going to slowly roll up to stand, vertebrae by vertebrae. And the head's going to come up last. Whew. Really beautiful job, you guys. Okay, so we're in our mountain pose. So mountain pose is like the, the key pose you always look to for any standing pose. So you roll your shoulders down the back, belly draws in, uh, you want to just kind of move your throat back a little bit so that your ears are in line with your shoulders, quads are strong, thighs are pulling in together, and the feet are pressing down into the earth. Lift and spread the toes. I really feel all four corners of the feet pressing into the mat. Breathe deeply here for a moment, and just notice the quiet strength in your body. The quiet strength you possess just by standing here in your own space. Beautiful. On the next inhale, take the arms up, gaze to your thumbs. Exhale, we're going to fold down. Reach down toward your toes. On our inhale, draw us up halfway to a flat back. From here, we're going to plant our hands, and you can move right into a downward facing dog. Feel like that's enough work for you for this vinyasa, or you can lower all the way down to your belly, come up into a baby cobra, and then on our exhale, we'll tuck the toes and lift your hips downward facing dog. Okay, beautiful guys. That's called a vinyasa, and you can choose to do them or not as you move forward. Okay, so from here, I want you to lift that right leg up really high. And from here, we're going to start to move forward into our plank with the one leg. Knee comes into the chest, and we're going to place the foot down by the hands, okay? Um, so from here, we're coming into crescent lunge. You might want to step your left foot out about an inch or two to give your hips some more space. On our inhale, we're going to draw up. Okay. So physically, we want to be tucking that tailbone. Drawing the belly in, nice strong core here. Our right hip's going to tack a little bit back. Left hip tacks a little forward so we get a nice even pelvis here. Lifting the arms. And again, I can feel my heart beating. So breathing in through the nose and exhaling out through the nose. Cultivating that deep, slow breathing. And being gentle with yourself. If you're, if you're having a hard time with it, just be in your experience. Three. Two, maybe bend a little deeper into the knee. And one, beautiful. Bring your hands to your hips for a moment. Come 
Bring that left heel down, so we're in warrior one. So the only difference between warrior one and crescent is that back heel being down on the ground. So again, you're squaring your hips to the front of the mat, left hip comes a little forward, reaching up for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Hands to your heart. This is where our mountain pose knowledge comes in handy. So we're going to come into warrior three. So I didn't want to hit the plant. That's why I moved back, but you don't want to. So bend your knee, and you're going to come up into a little kickstand here on your left foot. Okay? So you want your quad strong, really pressing into that right foot, pressing into all four corners of the right foot. Belly is really strong here. Start to lift that left foot about an inch or two off the mat. All right? And then maybe you start to challenge your balance up forward. If my kiddos are present, any children in the audience, we have our airplane pose. Okay, so you can reach your arms out. You can keep your hands to your heart. You can reach back. You can fly forward, my friends. Okay, so there's lots of different variations to our warrior three. Three, two, and one. Good. Slowly bend that right knee, step back into your crescent lunge. All right. From here, we're going to come down. So bring your left hand inside that right foot. We're going to take a gentle twist here. Now, if you want your back knee down, perfectly, perfectly still great twist here. I want you to focus on pulling your belly in. Focus on your obliques. Twist from your core as you lift up. Okay? If that back knee is lifted, you're pressing through that back heel. Five. Four deep breaths. Three. Two. And one. Good. Hand comes down, so bring your right foot in just a little bit. We're going to step back to our high plank. Now you can go right to down dog or child pose or move through your vinyasa. Exhale is going to take you down. Inhale brings you to baby cobra, maybe. Maybe you lift up a little higher into a fuller cobra, and then tuck the toes a little bit downward facing dog. Okay. Take a moment in this down dog, just breathe. See if you notice a difference between your right and left leg. Beautiful. On your inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bring the knee to the chest. Start to move the shoulders over the wrist. Step the left foot between the hands. Or as close as you can get. Back heel or back heel stays lifted for now. You can move the foot out about an inch or two. Inhale draws you up. Okay, so again, you're tucking that tailbone, belly in. We've been here on the other side. Breathing deeply. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Back heel spins down. Make any adjustments you feel like you need to. Right hip comes forward, left hip draws a little back. And then we're in our warrior one for five, four, three, beautiful guys, two, and one. Good. From here, we're coming into our warrior three again, or our airplane pose for the kiddos. So from here, your left leg is really strong, pressing into all four corners of the feet. Bend that left knee to start. Extend with the right foot. Okay? So we start to lean forward. Belly comes into the spine. Left leg starts to straighten. Lift that right foot an inch or two. And then maybe we start to come forward a little bit. So eventually the goal here is to have a straight line between the crown of the head and the heel. Kneecap is pointing down towards the back. Again, you can do an airplane. You can reach behind. You can fly forward. Whatever variation makes you feel calm and peaceful and powerful. Three. 
two, and one. Bend that left knee, slowly step back. The legs should challenge there. Bend into that left knee, and from here, we're gonna twist the other side. So the right hand comes down inside that left foot. You can take your knee down if you'd like. Um, and then we're gonna draw the belly in, twist from the core. And lift up. Five deep breaths where you are. Hugging the inner thighs towards one another. Really feel that grounded sensation. Three. Two. And one, beautiful. Both hands come down. Step back into your high plank. And from here, you can move right into a downward facing dog or your vinyasa. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale through your cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Okay? Inhale, lift that right leg high. Exhale. Knee to your chest, start to move forward into a high plank. And then the right foot comes down. Okay, so your back heel is going to come down this time. Inhale to cartwheel up for your warrior two. Okay, so in our warrior two, our hip points are like car headlights, they're facing one side of your mat. Okay, so you're tracking that knee over the second toe, bending deeply, and again. That pelvis is tucked forward, belly to spine, okay? Keeping your spinal column nice and straight. I'm only gonna make you take three deep breaths here because I talked a lot, <laughs> but breathing deeply and slowly. Two. And one, good. Straightening that leg on the inhale, and on our exhale, we're gonna to start to move the right hand down the leg to triangle pose, okay? So again, the belly draws in, you're reaching down. If your knee starts to bend, that's a good indication that that's where you should stretch, okay? You can go as far down to the toes if the knee doesn't bend, all right? If you have any neck problems or issues, the knees is forward. If you don't, you can start to look up towards the left side. And four, four, three, two, and one. Inhale draws you up. So we're going to bend into that right knee, passing through the warrior two. Flip the palm towards the sky. Left hand comes down to the back leg. So you're drawing the belly in again from reaching up and back. Okay? So this is a gentle, gentle movement here. You don't want any crunching in the low back. You just want a little stretch in the side piece on the right side. For three, two, and one, good. Right forearm comes down to the thigh, and then you're reaching up and over for extended side angle, okay? So from here, press down into that outside of the foot. Really press down as you extend that left arm. Shoulder rolls down the back. Deep, slow breaths. For five. Four. Three, two, and one. Inhale for our warrior two. We're gonna pinwheel the arms down, step back to your high plank, and downward facing dog, or move through your vinyasa, whatever works for you. I'm opting out this time. Okay, so we're in our downward facing dog. Inhale that left leg high, exhale, knee to nose, shoulders over wrist, and then we're going to step that left up between the hand, okay? Back heel spins down. Inhale up for your warrior two, and we'll switch again to the knees. So again, strong the legs, tucking that tailbone, belly to spine. Calm, peaceful warrior two. Deep breaths. 
three, two, maybe bend a little deeper into that knee, keeping the knee over the ankle though. And one, good. Inhale, straight into that right, left leg. And then we're going to start to walk down the left leg. Maybe the knee starts to bend a little bit and it's so stretched there. If not, you can keep moving down towards the toes. Spinning the chest upward, belly to spine. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale. Draws you up nice and slow. Beautiful. Bending into that peaceful warrior. And then we're going to flip the left palm. Right hand travels down the back leg. Just for a gentle reverse warrior here. Okay, so you're bending into that knee. Keeping it tracking over the ankle. Just getting a little stretch in the left side. So no crunching back here, just a little stretch. Ribs draw in towards the body for three, two, and one. Good. Coming back here. So we're going to um, go into our same side angle. So our left forearm to the left thigh, bending into that left knee. Um, and then you're going to roll that left shoulder down back. It's going to want to travel up toward your ear. So you just gently press it down, pressing into that outer right foot as you stretch. Five deep breaths. Four. You might be really feeling that heart pumping by now, right? So just bring yourself back to that deep, slow breath. And also being gentle with yourself. Three, two, remembering that wherever you are in this practice is perfect. And one, good. Inhale, we're going to pass back to our warrior two. Spin down and step back into the high plank, moving into downward facing dog dog if you'd like. Inhale, come forward. Exhale. Lower, inhale, baby cobra or cobra, excuse me, and then exhale, downward facing up. Okay, so from here, we're going to bend the knees, look forward, and then step to your hands. Okay, so roll yourself all the way up to stand. All right, so we're going to come into chair pose. Okay, so for chair pose, our toes are together, inner thighs are hugging together. We're sitting low and reaching up. Okay? So if your hands are together or apart, it doesn't matter. It's just different, different styles of practice. But if your hands are together, um, we'll just get a little bit more of a stretch in the shoulders here. So whatever works for you, sitting low. If you're my kids, you can do some rocket ship jumps. Okay? <laughs> Five of them. All right. Belly to spine. Four, deep and slow breaths. Three, sitting lower. Two, and one. Good, coming back up to stand. So starting in that mountain pose, belly to spine, strong quads, feet are pressing into the ground here. Then we're gonna come into a kick, a kick stand, all right? So we're moving towards tree pose. All right, so when we're in tree, you can stay here. This is a beautiful place to start your tree practice and start to balance here. Um, or you can start to lift that right leg up. So there's two places you can place your foot on your leg for tree, below the knee and above the knee, okay? Let's protect that knee joint by staying off. Okay, so you can stay here, or you can move the foot up into the inner thigh. Okay, belly to spine, tuck that pelvis just a little bit. It'll help you really stabilize your core for five. And then if you really want, you can stretch your arms up. Four. Bring kids around. They can be wavy trees. Winds blowing in the air. Three. 
two, and one. Good. Bring your hands to your heart. Challenge yourself. Knee comes to center. It's okay if the foot comes down. All right. So the knees then come in towards the chest. All right. So you're just going to give yourself a squeeze here. Um, but if you'd like, if you'd like to do an extra challenge here, we're going to twist to the back. Okay. So really strong in that left leg, really strong belly here. Keep the left hand underneath the right knee. And then from the belly, strong, strong, strong core, start to reach back. All right. I'm going to you guys. Hugging everything in, reaching back, maybe gazing back. I'm not going to I'm gazing back. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Whew. Bring it down, shake it out. Really, really nice, you guys. Okay. I know you feel it in that left leg because I do too. All right. So from here, coming into chair pose again, my kids, you can do five jumps like that. Okay. Everybody else, we're coming into chair. Hugging that belly to spine, sitting low, five deep breaths. I know this is hard. I know you're feeling the fire in your gut right now. Four, really focus on that breathing, even when it gets hard. Three, especially when it's hard. Two, and one. Beautiful. Coming back up to stand, coming into a little kick stand on our left side here. So your left foot's doing a kick stand, really pressing into all four corners of the right foot. Right quad is super strong. Tuck the tailbone, belly is fine. Okay, those are our foundation. Then from here, you can stay in your kickstand or come below the knee or above the knee, okay? Wherever you are, breathe in five deep breaths. Four. Three. Two. And one, good. Maybe Keep the knee up for a challenge. Start to move it towards the front of the body and give it a squeeze. Hug it in. All right. And so from here, you can stay here or you can twist. Okay, so hugging that belly in. Think about your obliques. They're the ones that move you to the side of abdominal muscles. And then gaze back if that feels good. So this side is way easier for me. You might notice that one side is a lot easier than another. Just observe, just breathe. And there we go. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Good. Release the twist, release the leg. Shake it out. On your inhale, reach up, gaze up, and then exhale, hold forward. Inhale, come up halfway, flat back, next to shins. And then plant the hands, step back to either your downward facing dog if you want to break, or you can come forward to high plank. This time I'm going to teach you a low plank. You're going to exhale to low plank, pause here, and then inhale, come up for upward facing dog. All right, so the hips are lifted off the mat. Tuck the toes, lift the hips back. All right, so from here, we're taking the knees down, crossing the ankles behind us, and we're coming into a seat on the mat. Not fully done just yet, but we're going to do a little bit of core work, okay? So nothing makes us feel more powerful than a strong core, right? It's the, it's the basis of our yoga practice. And so when we're feeling stressed out, a lot of times we're not sure if we're going to finish it, we're not sure if we're going to get done what we need to get done. So we're gonna do a little core strengthening here. Okay, so we're gonna lower down onto our backs here, and we're gonna do a little bit of a yoga bicep. Okay, so hopefully everyone can still see me. We're gonna be laying down here, draw the belly in, lift those legs so that the, um, the shins are parallel to the ground. Hands behind the head here, okay? And you can stay on the ground and lift up a little bit. Belly draws in, really flex those feet, 
And then stretch the right leg out, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, draws you back. Exhale, left knee, or touch out the right knee. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Good, we're gonna do about five more. Keep going at your own pace, moving with the breath. Inhale, takes you back. Exhale, twist, seat it over. Four, three, <laughs> two, keep the speed flex, stay super strong. And one, last set here. Woo. All right, hug everything in. Beautiful, beautiful work. We're gonna massage the spine, go forward and back. And then you can come on up into a bow pose. Okay, so we're gonna do a little more forward. Uh, so from here, we're gonna sit up nice and tall, roll the shoulders down and back, okay? So the hands are back behind the thighs here, and the feet are pressing down into the back. So you want to keep a nice flat back here. We're going to start to lean back, okay? Strong, strong belly, ribs strong in, pull the shoulders down the back, okay? Now this is already working your core. So you can stay with your feet on the mat and just really focus on having a strong belly and maybe lift the hands, okay? So you can already, I can already feel that in my core. So this is a beautiful place to start. If you want a little extra challenge, you can lift those feet. Maybe an inch, okay? And then really focus on that flat back because I said to the ground too. So maybe lift the feet a little bit. Maybe you lift the feet up to parallel. Some people can do the whole thing. I'm still working on it. Five breaths. Four. Three. Two. And one, very good, you guys. Coming back to a couple of little seat. All right, awesome, awesome job. Okay, so from here, we're gonna move into some hamstring presses, okay? So, the legs are straight out in front of me. Let's see if you can see me here. All right, legs are out straight in front of you. Roll the shoulders down the back, hands to either side of your hips, okay? This is down doxana, so, Strong quads, belly in, just breathing deeply. And it looks a lot easier than it actually is. You're hugging your thighs, shoulders are rolled down the back, belly is strong. Really focus on that deep and slow breathing here for five, four, feet are flexed, three, Two, and one. Beautiful work, you guys. Okay, on our inhale, we're gonna reach the arms up. The exhale is gonna bring us forward. So again, keeping a flat back, belly to spine, start to move forward. Roll the shoulders down the back. We're gonna take about eight deep breaths. Really starting to slow down our practice. Again. Maybe your exhales will take you a little bit deeper. Three. Two. And one, good, inhale, draw you up. From here, we're gonna take one foot into the inside of the thigh. So it's kind of like tree pose on your mat, okay? So right foot in, left foot out, and you're really flexing that left foot, you can see. Okay, so inhale, reaching up, and then exhale, fold forward, okay? Belly to spine, draping over that left leg, letting the head fall down, your chin to your chest. Be here for eight breaths. Wow. 
last two. Beautiful. Inhale to come up. So from here, we're going to move into a seated twist. Okay? So, sorry, I'm going the angle here. So your right foot comes to the outside of the left thigh. Okay? And what we're going to do is bring your right hand to your right hip. I'm going to move it around again. Right hand to right hip. Sitting up nice and tall, belly in. You're going to inhale, lift that left arm. And on your exhale, use your belly your core muscles to twist the right. Okay, keep it light and gentle here. Really flex that left foot though. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Moving back to your center, just gently pausing here to the outside of the left foot. Three, two, and one. And then we're moving to the other side. Okay, so left foot comes in towards the body. Right leg is straightened out, really flexing those feet. Inhale, lift up. Ribs draw in, belly to spine, and then exhale, fold forward. Good. We're going to stay here for eight breaths. Keep tapping your chin to your chest. If there's a question. You are welcome. Just a minute. Four. Beautiful, guys. Three. Two. And one. All right, inhale, bring you back up. So the left foot is going to cross over. Um, left foot to the outside of the right hip here. So your left hand is going to be outside your left hip. Inhale, reach up, really flex that right foot. Exhale, belly in, twist to the left. Okay? Gazing up past that left shoulder. Really gentle here. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Moving back to your center. Gently pause. Gently drawing yourself over to the right side. Just a brief pause. And then moving back to your center. You can kind of shake the legs out. We're going to come into Baddha Konasana or a uh, bound angle pose. So bringing your feet together, roll the shoulders down the back. So if you can, can't tell, you can see feet. So your feet are together, roll the shoulders down the back. You can start to, if this feels like enough of a stretch, then stay here. If you have like a blanket or something, books, you can put underneath you, that'll help elevate the hips, that may help. If you're, if you're having, the hips are talking to you here, and if the knees are really high. So from here, you can stay, or if you want a little bit more of a stretch, you can start to come forward. Um, elbows can start to guide the inner thighs open, pressing down super gently. Being really gentle with yourself here. And take five deep breaths. Really good, you guys. Beautiful. Inhale to come up, and then we're going to start to make our way onto our backs. Chest part, right? All right. So we're going to slowly lower down. Vertebrae, red vertebrae, or anybody again to that. Just for sure. Okay. So maybe point and flex the toes here. Maybe make some circles in your ankles. Roll the shoulders down the back and some. Support for the heart. Now we're going to hug your right knee into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And then from here, just breathing deeply. 
And you're welcome to stay here if this feels good and supportive for you. Or you can maybe start to lift that right leg. You can bring the hands back behind um, the thigh here. And just give yourself like a supported um, big toe stretch. If you're familiar with yoga, if you want to go a little deeper, you can start to walk the hands up towards the um, calves. You can grab the toe. If you have more, if you have that in your practice, but be really gentle with yourself here, just breathing deeply. Four, three, two, and one. Gently release the foot back down. The leg straightens out onto the mat. And then we're going to hug that left knee in. So just hugging into the chest, giving yourself a squeeze here. Beautiful. You can stay here or maybe stretch the leg up, catching behind that left side. Nice supportive, gentle stretch, or whatever you did on the other side. Let's go a little deeper. Beautiful. So the left leg is going straight now, down onto the mat. And we're going to hug both knees in at the same time. So we're going to come into a reclined twist together. So first we're going to move the hips out to the right about an inch or two. Okay. And then let the knees fall to the left. Just nice and gentle. You want to try to keep that right shoulder down on the mat. Arms could be a T or cactus arms. And again, your gaze can be straight up, or if you'd like, you can start to gaze for that right thumb. But really listening to your body for what you need here. Breathing even more slowly and deeply as we start to wind down our practice. And then bring the knees back to center. Bring the hips back to center. And then move the hips to the left about an inch. I want the knees fall to three. So again, cactus arms or the teeth. Easing straight up or listen to your body. Or you can gaze to your left. Right, guys, bring the knees back into center. Give yourself a squeeze. You can start to make little circles on the lower back with a nice little low back massage here. So you can start by going like, I think I'm going counterclockwise and then move in the other direction. To make the circles big or small, whatever feels most supportive of you here. And then we're moving towards Shavasana. So if there's any final uh, pose that I'm going to get to or something that you want to stretch or move your body, I'll give you a moment to do so. You can just take a long stretch and maybe um, come into a pose with the feet back behind the head. 
whatever feels good and supportive for you at this moment. You can stay with your knees hugging in, keep up with that core back massage. Taking a moment to support your body in a way that matters to you. Good. And then we'll all move to a happy baby. So hugging the knees into the chest. Knees draw towards the armpits. And then you reach inside for the inside of the feet. Okay, you can stay here or maybe the feet start to become parallel to the ceiling. Move side to side or stay still. Supporting your body here. Breath is low and slow. And when you feel ready, linking your right into Shavasana, final resting pose. So the legs will come out straight, roll the shoulders down the back, and let the arms just fall where they will. Legs and splay out to either side and mat. And begin to release all control of the breath. Take a scan of the body from head to toe, noticing any areas where you can have some tension. Lingering, just relaxing, releasing. Let the jaw come apart a little bit and relax. Relax behind the eyes, relax the forehead, relax the shoulders. Let your body melt into the mat. Just spend the next few moments. Small movements of the fingers and the toes, wrists and ankles, reaching the arms above the head, taking a long final stretch. And then moving over onto one side, pausing in the fetal position for a moment. And then slowly pushing yourself up to a comfortable seat with your eyes closed. You can keep them soft and just gaze at the floor. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment to remember the intention you set for yourself at the beginning of class. And thank yourself for taking the time to take care of you this morning. We'll close the practice with one single O. Oh, you can join me at home or just at home. Oh. Bow your head down towards your heart. Thank you all so much for practicing with me today. I hope this is uh, that you feel inside right now. Christ with you for the rest of the day and to all those. Okay, namaste. Um, Danny, I'll kick it off to you in a moment, but I think um, they send them in. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, I'm going to be offering more yoga classes um, the easiest way. Thank you, guys. Oh, first time doing yoga? Woo, that's awesome. Uh, okay, so um, if you want to get in touch with me, 
Um, I think all of my information will be listed. I'll be like, announcing those in my class that I'm going to be doing on Instagram. So if you want to follow me, it's just my name at Julie Brown um, And if you're interested in therapeutic work, I am still taking my clients, so you can get in touch about that too. Um, thank you guys so much. I'm going to pass it off to Danielle. Thank you so much, Julie. Thank you for everything that you've done today. Everyone be safe, be well, um, and feel free to uh, go back and continue this practice um, as well. We will have this on www.nucenter4leadership.com very soon for you. Julie, thanks again for everything. What a wonderful day. Um, I feel calmer already. So God bless everyone, and uh, we will talk to you soon. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.